Hey guys, it's Tilly, and today I am doing my worst books that I've read in 2016. I did a video a few days ago with my favorite books of 2016, which I will leave a link to below. I did read a lot of fantastic books this year. I think my total is actually about 89 books. I didn't reach my Goodreads goal, but whatever. But unfortunately, there were books that I read that I did not enjoy, they did not reach up to the hype that they deserved, or they just weren't up to the standard quality that I enjoy and I have eight of them sitting right here that I will show you guys but first of all I do want to say that these are my opinions if you guys enjoyed these books I'm very happy that you did I can see why people would like them but unfortunately I did not enjoy them but I will explain why I did or why I don't when it comes up to this and I won't spoil any of these books either so first of all one of the books that I did not enjoy this year at all was It's a Wonderful Death by Sarah J Schmidt and I remember when I picked it up in the bookshop that I did read the first page and and it had a very entertaining writing style. It seemed very similar to Rick Warden in that kind of fun, sarcastic sense. And just, ah, the storyline was terrible. Like, there was one plot twist at the end that I did enjoy, but I did skip a lot of parts in this book just to kind of know what happens. It was very slow moving and predictable, and it was, it, yeah, it was just so below average. It was a very fun and quick read though so if you guys want something like that I guess you guys should pick it up. I got this next one as an ARC which is an advanced readers copy and although the writing silence and the world building is phenomenal the plot for me dropped off about halfway through and ruined the book for me and that is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Honestly the world building is freaking fantastic. It is a sci-fi slash fantasy and I really really enjoyed that first half of it but the second half just like it seemed like a completely different book. So a diabolic is kind of like an advanced human in a way. They're programmed to protect one person and one person only for the rest of their life and so you have Nemesis who looks after Sidonia and Nemesis is the diabolic and you follow her journey and yeah I don't know like <laughs> I really really wanted to like it and I love the cover but unfortunately it just didn't live up to the expectations that I had and it just yeah if you guys read it let me know how you liked it I really do hope that many people have enjoyed it I have seen very many good reviews the next book isn't terrible per se but it did do a trope that I absolutely hated and for the majority of the book it was kind of pretty slow so I didn't hate it, it was just more of a dislike. I gave it like a pretty, like I think it's like a two star rating. And that was The Memory Book by Lara Avery. This is a really like, it's a contemporary, so it's a pretty quick read. So the main character Sam is diagnosed with a really rare disease and she ends up losing her memories through it, but nobody really knows what's going to happen to her, if she'll make it or not, because it hasn't happened to anyone else before. So she starts writing a memory book and that's what this is. So yeah, it was just average for me. The next book I have is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland and this cover like is so stunning. I really really wanted it from the moment that I saw it and then I was lucky enough to get an ARC of it as well. And to be honest, this is a very typical and generic YA contemporary book. The ending is slightly different and I think it is the ending that redeemed itself. But you have this like quirky guy and this mysterious girl that has something terrible has happened to her in her past and of course they fall in love but I also think that the characters in this were over stereotyped and the parts of it were just you know I've heard the story so many times before I can say though like I did at the beginning I can see why a lot of people would like the style in my opinion Crystal Sutherland has a really good writing style it's like a quick fun paced read and so if she does write anything else I will pick it up but unfortunately this storyline wasn't one that I enjoyed. This next book was a did not finish for me and I really like do not finish books but this one I just couldn't stand it and that is The Outliers by Kimberly McCrite and like I can't even tell you guys what happens in this because I probably got like maybe just over 150 pages in and then I thought this is terrible from what I know and what I have like heard from people you have the main character whose best friend ends up going missing so her and her best friend's boyfriend go to find her and then all this weird shit goes down. I wouldn't say this is an official review on this book because like I said I didn't finish it. I just couldn't stand it and the writing style I just it wasn't one that I could work with. This next one might actually uh, anger a few of you but like I say please don't hate on me. This is just my opinion and I do know a lot of people have shared the same opinion with me on this certain book. It is a newly released one from a big series and it just didn't match up with the other books. It wasn't on the same level as them and 
yeah, I did a full review of this, which I will leave a link to below. It is a video so you guys can watch it and listen to me probably slay one of your favourite books. But that is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. And although this book is like huge, nothing really happened in it in my opinion. A lot of this had a lot of filler chapters and the characters just seemed so out of themselves and scenarios that happened were predictable and stuff just wasn't up to par with the rest of the series and so I didn't enjoy it as much. So this is part of the Throne of Glass series if you guys haven't heard of this book before. It is a fantasy and um, yeah I guess it just wasn't what I was hoping especially since A Quarter Mist and Fury came out and that was amazing and then she released Empire Storms and I was kind of hoping that with every book she wrote she would be better and better but this felt kind of like a step in the wrong direction. Second to last one is Nerve by Gianne Ryan. I bought this book because it turned into a movie and the movie is fantastic. I loved it, but the book was very, very disappointing. It was nothing like the movie, not really. The ending was completely different. In this book, you have the main character whose name is V. She doesn't really do anything dangerous. And then one day she sees this game Dare and decides to play because her friends are pretty much saying she doesn't do anything. So it's like peer pressured into it. You choose to be a player or a watcher. If you're a player, you get given dares and you complete them and you get money and all these other the cool things and so V does that but it goes wrong and the game ends up controlling her life. You would expect that to be pretty action-packed with that synopsis but yeah it was it just wasn't very good. And as for the last book I also have a full review that I just did on this. It is a spoiler free first half and second half it is spoilers and that is Three Dark Crowns by Ken Dare Blake. I really enjoy Ken Dare Blake's books but unfortunately this one was just like nothing that I expected and that was not in a good way either. I have the full review on there which you guys can watch but I pretty much just gave this book one star. The plot was so so slow, the characters were kind of unmemorable and not to mention that like this book I feel was advertised in the wrong way especially because I know Candare Blake is good with gore and horror and everything like that and I expected that with this book especially with the caption up here which says three sisters one throne a fight to the death but in fact it was just not that at all. So there you guys have the worst books that I read in 2016 and once again I hope I did not offend any of you. I did not mean to and I really do hope that some of you have enjoyed those books and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful bookish day and that great things happen to you. I haven't actually counted how many books I've got here. I kind of looked at my Goodreads list and chose the books I absolutely loved. So I will be quick. I won't talk too much about some of them. 